your TQQQ and SQQQQ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the tunnel analysis on the winner chart. We are in Nader MACD. We're at oversold levels with the RSI. With the 4 hour chart, we are remaining Nader MACD and approaching to oversold condition with the RSI. As we extend that further to the daily chart, we are in Nader MACD seeing signs of a diverge there. And as with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $18.43. My sell target is at $20.11. That is its range here. My stop loss is at $17.85. And as for the one hour chart for SKQQ, we are in pause MACD and at overbought levels with the RSI. With the forever chart, we are back into pause MACD and nearing over bot condition with the RSI. We did bounce right off the 100 moving average, this orange line, and that is currently at the price of $52.33. With the daily chart, we are in pause MACD and as with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $55.83, that is its range here. My set target is at $60.46, and that is its range there. My stop loss is at $54.52. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, and we're examining QQQQ. TQQQ is a leveraged version of QQQQ, while SQQQ is an inverse leverage of QQQQ, so do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, QQQ has a 57% chance to climb between 0 to 3%, and to the downside has a 43% chance to fall between 0 to negative 3%. So if you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.